Hi guys, I'm back with a twice era's tier list, the sequel to my Red Velvet era's tier list video. As I said in that video, I would have ranked the eras normally but I'm way too much of a beamer for that. Remember that everything is my personal opinion, you don't have to agree, and if you didn't know I literally stand twice so why would I be trying to hate on them? So before I actually rank the eras let me give you a rundown of the tears. As you can see, here we have 5 tears ranging from Pink Lamborghini to men. The Pink Lamborghini tear is for comebacks that are mind-blowingly good and I will never forget. The Met tear is for comebacks that I dislike. The tears in between are for comebacks that are in between those descriptions. Obviously, I'll go through the eras in chronological order and for each one I'll explain why I feel that way about it. With the relevant footage being used, I only included Korean comebacks and didn't include the year of yes. Oh, and feel free to comment which of the tears you would put each era in. Let's go. First off we have like Wa, which I am going to give an average. I see what JYP was trying to do here, and I think it would have been better if I was standing twice at the time. But as always hindsight is 2020, and knowing that twice would do cute concepts so well in later years kind of makes me feel like they don't do this concept as well. The actual song, music video, and stages were pretty standard for that concept. The album is good but most of the songs were already performed on 16 so no surprises there. Honestly, this era wasn't that bad but compared to everything else twice puts out it doesn't compare, so I gave it an average. Since Cheer Up was the start of the cute concept I talked about, I'll give it a pretty good. I do think that twice suits this concept better, and that combined with the addictive lyrics and easy dance makes it obvious why this is the twice song that went viral, as opposed to Like Ua which lacked those characteristics. The highlight of this era is the title track for sure. It's catchy, cute, and I can do the dance. I'm also ranking this era high because of what it did for twice. It made them a household name almost instantly. The album is not one of their best which drags the ranking down but the benefits of this era outweigh that. <laughs> ah, TT. Who could ever forget TT? So of course, TT gets an amazing. First of all, TT the song is the first title track in this video that I actually like a lot. Like Uar and Cheer Up are both okay songs, but TT is a genuinely amazing song. Everything about it flows so well. Plus, so many things about this era are iconic. From the actual TT pose to even the kids in the music video. People say that the styling is boring but I disagree. Though all the outfits are the same ones just colored differently. That one outfit is a really good one. They all look so cute this era. And the Halloween outfits in the music video? Double outfit points. This era gets an amazing because of the well executed concept. Though Knock Knock is a repackage of TT, its ranking is as far away as possible. The Met Hair. Let me explain. For me, Knock Knock is twice as worst title track. The instrumental is not one that I would listen to on its own. It's plain annoying. And there isn't anything else about this era that could redeem it. The music video is entirely average. There are no b-sides other than melting. Because it was a repackage. The dance was cute, I guess. And yes it was creative but I don't want to watch stages of a song that I dislike. This comeback feels like it was rushed. Which unfortunately a lot of twice repackages feel like. Especially since it followed TT and was followed by Signal. Both of which made much bigger splashes. A lot of the times it feels like this era is forgotten by onces. But I don't really mind that since I didn't like it anyways. Next era. I love Signal Era with all my heart, and I would put it in the pink Lamborghini tear except for one factor which I'll explain in a second. So, it gets the amazing tear. The song Signal is such a bomb. Listen to the instrumental I've got playing right now, isn't it great? 
While I don't think it was song of the year worthy, it is still so good that I think it should be at the top of a wants list. The concept also fit the song to a T, and we know that cute concepts were their thing so the girls fit the concept too. Now, my one gripe with this era is the b-sides, which I don't like that much, and also Jihyo's hair which I don't think looked that good. But other than those two things, this era was perfect in every way. We are signal era stands around here. Like it, like it, like it, like it. 2017 twice was on a streak, because this comeback gets an amazing as well. Like e the song does have some personal value to me, since it was the first twice song I ever heard, and I started standing them this era. Similarly to Signal, like e is one of the better twice title tracks, and I love the concept. I just wish that they leaned into it more, since they sort of hint at a social media concept with the title, dance, and Jihyo vlogging in the music video, but I think they should have taken it farther. What I like most about the era is the color scheme. What I don't like, though, is the styling. In the music video it was super cute but they really downgraded for their stages. Maybe because the stylist was trying to match the bright concept with the season. It was November when they promoted this. Still, that's not enough to pull this down so it stays in the amazing tear. You know how I said twice repackages tend to be rushed? Yeah, because this one was, and accordingly, it gets an average. There isn't much about this era that stands out to me. Heart Shaker is a pretty average title track. Like a lot of twice title tracks, it does everything it has to do but doesn't go beyond that. Something odd that I wish there was more of in the music video was Milk and Cookies. I don't know why but everything just reminds me of that. JYP really just did this comeback to make more money, as this was arguably the beginning of Twice's overworking period. I would have skipped this comeback. What is Love is such an iconic and cute era, but it wasn't all there so I'll give it a pretty good. Everything about this era was top notch. I just felt like there was something missing. I really enjoyed the concept for this comeback, what with the color coordination and all, and especially liked the movie scene reenactments in the music video. Da Han and Che Young's rap proves that you don't need a girl crush concept to have amazing raps. The live stages were great too. I do know the dance to this one. I think the reason it's a pretty good and not an amazing is because I know that twice could and did do better in the future. If a different group released what is love it could have been the peak of their careers. Dance the night away is one of my favorite twice comebacks. So of course it gets sada amazing. The concept for this one was executed so well. You can't get any more summary than this comeback did. This is the one twice repackaged that I thought was done well. Some of the styling, especially in the night version of the concept photos, was rather questionable but other than that everything about this era was perfect. This was also when we got that iconic encore when they sang with their mouths full of ice. Dance the Night Away is my second favorite twice dance and I learned the entire choreography so yeah, I'm a Dance the Night Away stand for sure. Yes or Yes is another twice comeback that, while good, just isn't as good as their others so I'm putting it into the pretty good tear. I enjoyed the concept for this, despite me not really being able to tell what it was. It was a good move to go with a concept that was kind of docker while retaining their cute sound, as that really eased once into the new side of twice. People call them out for its harmful meaning but I think that those people are reading way too much into this. Like all twice comebacks, it's not that serious. Also, some of the styling for the stages was a bit questionable. So overall, not a bad era but not one of their best either. Now we have Fancy, the most iconic twice comeback ever, so obviously I have to put it into the pink Lamborghini tear. Concept and members aside, the song Fancy is such an amazing song, they have literally never made a better title track, and everyone was obsessed with this title track, which I think would have won song of the year if not for BTS. The concept was exactly what twice needed, 
Since they definitely aged out of being so cutesy but still needed something bright, there was so much color in the music video and styling, which I highly approve of, like, it was colorful but wasn't an eyesore or anything, oh, and the mini album was one of their best, all of the tracks go together but are distinguishable, and the instrumental to hot is one that I play quite often on this channel. Overall, this will always be one of the best twice comebacks, never forget fancy. You make me feel special Since I am an in I choose your untoggle We had fancy and we didn't think they could follow that up but somehow they did Feel special goes in the pink Lamborghini tear as well Here, they took their quickly maturing concept even further to exude pure elegance Seriously, there were only two bad things about this comeback and they were Sana's pink wig and Jong Yon sack dress other than those terrible styling choices, there is nothing bad about this comeback. Title track, perfect. Da Hyans. You make everything up right. Will go down in history. The album, also perfect. Get Loud is such a good song. Like Fancy, this album is so cohesive but has identifiable songs. And the live stages are some of the best. Though we do have to take a few points off for Mina being unable to participate. Still, this is their best comeback bar fancy, with both fancy and feel special coming one after another. I wonder if twice really peaked in 2019. I hope not. My fears about twice peaking last year are mostly because of how much I dislike more and more. In fact, I disliked it so much that I'm going to have to put it in the met air. I won't lie, if twice released this a few years ago it would have gotten an average or even a pretty good. But when you compare it with fancy and feel special, it just looks worse. Unfortunately, more and more is one of my least favorite title tracks with only Knock Knock being lower. The rap feels misplaced and the instrumental chorus is not really my thing. The concept and styling aren't that bad. It's just that they are not good either. Just standard. I think they could have done more with the dual concept they were hinting at but it was kind of a cop out because the only dark thing about their darker concept was the black background. I really hope twice improve for their next comeback otherwise I think it will be true that they peaked in 2019. Well. Here is my complete tier list. This one was difficult to make because all twice eras are quite good, and not much differentiates them. Still, I think that this ranking matches my personal opinion pretty well. Make sure to comment which of the tiers you would put the eras in. These tier list videos don't tend to get a lot of views but I think I'll keep making them because I find this fun. So like I said in the other video look forward to more groups in the future. I hope you enjoyed this video. Bye guys, and I'll see you in the next one.